Welcome back. In our last video, we flew from LA to Bellingham, and from there we drove into Canada. We ate some delicious food, met up with Cecilia's friends, and explored Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge. Get back! Follow us as we embark on day two of our journey of Southwest Canada. Check this out. In our next adventure, we stop by the Britannia Mine Museum. Which is a roadside attraction on our way to Whistler. Britannia Mine Museum. We got the last five tickets. Can you show your badge? <laughs> we got the last ones. Matt, luckily we only five. I can't believe it. I know, right? <laughs> The Britannia Mine Museum was a former mine turned museum offering educational exhibitions and artifacts from the mining industry. Oh, really? Like really small. Like... Did you find anything? Nope, just dirt. Yeah, I'm just cleaning it. <laughs> Look at that. Did you find something? Yeah, I found gold. Look at this. Oh, very shiny. That's a souvenir. You keep what you find, right? Gold. Yeah. Mm. It's probably pyrite, which is fool's gold. Look, Marion found Gold. Wow, that's a big one. Oh wow, that is a big one. This is all our gold we found. There might be only one that might be real gold. Let's go to this other building, machine shop. More than a mine, recreation in a mining town. Baseball. Winter is so much fun. Burr, it's cold up here. In 1948, 33 feet of snow fell at the town site. Like these were the actual carts they used in the mining operation. Mucking machine. Check this out. Looks like a toilet cart. What's next? The underground tour. Are you excited? I like your helmet. Thanks. I like you yours know. too. <laughs> you look awesome. It worked. Me first. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dan and I'll be the tour guide. We are heading underground. My goal with you in the underground is to show you how was the underground work. How these miners used at Britannia removed the rocks from this very mountain and what kind of tools they used throughout the years. We are in the mines. So this wheel was lighter, less noisy, there's no dust. But safe for the miners, 
And most the drill gear is still being used today in Miami. If you can go over your ear with your hands, that is good enough. All right, everybody ready? Let's do it. First, the air hose. It's gonna be a easy noise. Three, two, one. Take a look here. Can you see all these shiny bits? Yeah. These are all diamonds. They are the hardest meal. They're really sharp, really strong, right? Oh, this is the end of the mine. Yeah. Uh, look at this smoking machine. <laughs> the price of copper was low. This mine at first had a great legacy. This was the biggest copper mine in the entire British Empire. They built 241 kilometers of tunnels inside this mountain. And just for you to have an idea how much copper they removed from this mountain, if we had a copper wire as thick as this very hose here, you will be able to wrap the uh, 8.5 times of this wire. And that's the legacy at first. However, in the end, the legacy changed. This mine now was famous for being the greatest polluters of the ocean out there. So in the end, the creek in the ocean became a dead zone. Nothing could survive over there. We're inside the mill. show our award-winning movie and it is also a multi-sensory show which means that you're gonna see moving parts flashing lights and noises well fortunately that never happened okay good there was plenty of other things going on here for one they were always repairing equipment or installing something new to improve the concentration process sometimes a particularly stubborn boulder would get caught in one of the receiving bins and have to be cleared before the next train arrived. And up there, the ship foreman would be told when they needed to deal with it, with a well-placed stick of dynamite. And once in a while, that even blew out the upper row of windows. Fire the hole! Okay, that's got it. And here comes the ore train. Let's start the conveyor belt. And now for the jaw crusher. And the cone crusher.
keep that last part between us. Okay? then you'll definitely enjoy the next one. In our next adventure, we're going to Whistler. And if you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you and have a good day.